Welcome to Paint Cool Stuff. This is Hardy Fowler from Digital Painting Studio, and today we're going to do a really cool creature painting. Starting from the blank canvas on this one, we'll go from start to finish to give you a quick look at my general process for this kind of project. We'll touch on some great stuff like conceptualization and values, but the main focus of this one will be creating organic effects to make this creature seem really alive and fleshy, so let's dive in. We start with the sketch. When tackling the blank canvas, it's best to just dive in and start making marks, even if you don't have your idea perfectly formed yet. Sometimes the idea can become clear as you're just scribbling marks to get started. An idea can kind of emerge from the chaos, so just start moving the stylus and see what happens. So for this one, I'm mainly just trying to design a humanoid shaped creature that will show a lot of cool musculature and anatomy since this is mainly a rendering demonstration. But I thought we'd do something really fun and creepy and atmospheric. One of these really cool dark and eerie organic designs that artists like H.R. Geiger or Carlos Huante helped to define. Definitely check out those artists if you're not familiar and if you're tackling a project like this. Remember that the digital medium makes everything infinitely reworkable and editable, so you'll see I'm using selection tools to modify some of these lines and even liquefy to push things around. All of these are really great ways to refine and adjust our pose and details, but most importantly it gives us the confidence to just try anything, since we can always just modify or erase it away if it's not working. The digital safety net. This is looking cool. I like the pose and general feel, and it definitely features lots of muscles and anatomy that will really feature in our value rendering to make this painting cool and memorable.
Okay, now that our sketch is finished, I've blocked in a silhouette, and it's time to switch modes and start our value painting. We'll be using value, which is just light and dark, to one, give this creature a believable three-dimensional look, and two, to make it look really organic, like a living thing with muscles and tendons under its skin. This is the main point of this video, so I'll try to really showcase these techniques. They can be super useful. The most important idea to keep in mind is something called value edges. In order for this to look realistic and organic, we need to include soft gradients where light fades to dark over a gradual distance and hard edges where light quickly cuts to dark. I'm using this basic idea over and over again as I render the values for this creature. So let's take a look at this inset to see the general marks that I'm making, help get this idea across. I'm just using a default Photoshop chalk brush and we'll start by tapping the stylus firmly to slowly build up some soft tones and notice this, this creates kind of a soft gradient from light to dark, a, a slow fade. Next, we tap softly to make some smaller marks and kind of cut this new sharp light edge next to the soft gradient and then sort of let that one fade away too. See how we now have two separate lumpy shapes, it's that hard cut separating the two that really makes this believable and that's exactly how we're going to define all of these little muscle shapes on our creature. To add a little more realism I'm going to be doing a lot of these little stretchy things that go from one muscle mass to the next. These can look a lot like tendons under the skin or just areas where the skin is stretching between areas of the body. Super organic and fleshy looking and that's just the creepy vibe that we're going for here. Finally, I'll also periodically switch to a much larger brush and just slightly paint some tones over the top of everything. It's sort of like we're adding skin over the top of all of these anatomical shapes that we're defining and it just unifies everything and makes it all come together. That's the basic idea and we'll just apply that over and over head to toe until this guy is fully rendered.
Now that our value painting is finished, we're going to convert to color and make these values look like realistic skin. I've just done a hue saturation adjustment by hitting Command U to give the skin an off-white color, and then we're just painting on a new layer underneath to give some reddish hues to certain parts of the body. Already this is starting to look kind of fleshy and realistic, and that's because of the variation in hue. Redder in some areas and subtly greener in others. That variation is key. We can also refine things and add shadows and other unifying tones at this step. This is where we polish things up as we approach a finished product. I'm using multiply layers and other adjustments to add some accent colors and other hue variation. I've kept it very subtle, but you can really go wild at this step and give your creature some interesting skin patterns like stripes or maybe a different color head or arms or whatever. This is sort of where we apply the paint job to make our creature as interesting as possible. As one of our final steps, we're going to make one more pass and add some shiny highlights to make this skin seem even more realistic and organic. I just use an off-white for this, and I try to only place these marks where the forms would be directly facing the light source. Use this with some restraint. These highlights can contain tons of information about skin texture and how some of these forms come together, a very powerful tool and a great way to add some pop and final polish. With some final color tweaking and edge treatment, I think this one is just about finished. Super dark and creepy and awesome. 
I hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll get some use out of these ideas anytime you're trying to render something that needs to look alive and organic. For more on this topic and loads of comprehensive digital painting tutorials and resources, be sure to check us out at digitalpaintingstudio.com. Until next time, good luck with your artwork and paint cool stuff.